As we all know, the modern dance started in the United States of America in 1905. Like India, the whole of Southeast Asia, that is the Korea, Japan, South Korea, Malaysia, Hong Kong, China, Taiwan, these are all the countries which had long and strong performing art traditions, dance traditions. But with the changing world and the social, cultural, political changes, lifestyle changes, all these countries have to look for creating something from or differently in the area of dance and that's where each country has adopted modern dance or contemporary dance or creative dance to suit their own traditions, to enhance their own traditions and go further in this modern contemporary world. So let's look briefly at some of these uh, countries and the companies. Uh, these are recent phenomenons of last 20, 30 years, but it is a strong, it has already made a strong presence in these countries. And so we have to look at them uh, to know what is the situation of world dance. In South Korea, we look at some well-known dancers and choreographers here. Established in 2010, August, Korean National Contemporary Dance Company is the country's first national ensemble dedicated to contemporary dance. How recent? The artistic director, Sung Yop Hong, has identified several goals for the company to encourage creative work by Korean choreographers, to popularize contemporary dance by creating access for regional and local communities, and to contribute to the global contemporary dance scene through international collaborations and partnerships. The structure of the Korean National Contemporary Dance Company that is KNCDC is project based. Dancers are selected by audition for each project, enabling choreographers to offer opportunities for more dancers and allowing for a stylistic variety of creative work. KNCDC attempts to gain a new vitality through openness to new proposals and experiments from the perspective of the here and now. Based on senses, penetration, various phenomena of body and con Korean contemporary life. With contemporary dance, it talks about historical, social, and daily experiences and raises relevant questions. It strives to create an environment for modern dance where all people enjoy themselves, transcending classes, regions and generation. In sum, KNCDC pursues Korean contemporary dance communing with the global community. K and CDC plans and produces a project by project basis works that present the most innovative and newest artistic visions at home and abroad. Diverse performers are selected depending on the characteristics of the works. While the repertoire is enriched by a variety of artists who collaborate with one another on different projects. These efforts produce dance renewing physical and earthly experiences. 
trying to expand interpretational and reasoning, KNCDC forges a fully flexible working environment filled with creative energy. Sung Yop Hong was born in Diagu, South Korea in 1962. He began to explore dance as a, as a sophomore at the Kyung Hee University, where he studied fabric engineering. He completed a master's degree in, in dance and was awarded the grand prize at the prestigious Dong A Dance Company competition after only two years of professional work. Hong won the Best Dancer Award in 86 at the Korea Dance Festival and was a member of the Universal Ballet Company from 1990 to 93. In 93, he founded Dance Theatre On and began working as an artistic director and choreographer as well as a dancer. Hong received the Art Prize France Korea in 2001. He has created more than 20 works, several of which have been supported by Francis Leon Bianel de la Dance. Young Soon Lee is the Pound Chocolate Arts Collective and was founded to collaborate with an or support a multidisciplinary artist that is Young Su Lee's creative production of performance, exhibition and publication. Also exchange and curate creative artistic talents throughout the world and enhance the quality of life and bring attention to humanity through arts. Uh, Let us look at another two important people, Joshua L. Pu and Cho Yun Sang. The Dark Circles Contemporary Dance that is DCCD was founded by Joshua L. Hog and Cho Yun Sang and had its first performance in the spring of 2010 in Seoul, South Korea. Since then, the internationally acclaimed company has performed all over Asia, Europe and North America. Commanded for innovative combinations of classical technique and modern movement styles, DCCD explores the depth of human connections within a multicultural framework, taking a cross-cultural approach to the moving body. The company's newest branch based in the North Texas and led by internationally award-winning choreographer Joshua bridges the gap between East and the West. Hailed as a rising star in the Dallas dance arena, DIY dancer DCCD made its American debut in 2013 and was soon after recognized in the top 10 of the Theatre Jones 2013 review. The year in dance, according to the Star Telegram, Pog introduced us to a bold dance vocabulary that is unlike anything we have seen in the area. DCCD is dedicated to bringing the progressive work of international choreographers and dancers to a worldwide audience. It strives to educate the public on the power of movement in communicating ideas. Joshua Pog is the founder and artist director of Dark Circle Contemporary Dance. After graduating from Southern Methodist University, Joshua moved to South Korea to join Universal Ballet Company. Since then, he has created work for festivals in Asia, Europe and North America winning awards for his choreography in Korea, Japan, Canada and the USA. He has been chosen as one of Dance Magazine's 2015-25 to watch and was recently named an important discovery by the New York Times. Joshua has been commissioned to create for Body Terrific Traffic Ballet Tech's company E, Tulsa Ballet and 
We move him among others as well as choreographing Dallas Theater Center's Kaloso. Now let us look at the modern dance in Malaysia. Contemporary dance is a dance style that has emerged as an outgrowth of modern dance and other dance techniques in the 20th century. Contemporary dance is not associated with any specific dancing techniques, but with dance philosophy. This dance style is often involved balancing, floor work, fall and recovery and improvisation. In contemporary dance classes, students will be taught on the right breathing, posture and emotional state in order to achieve mind-body connection. These classes are appropriate for all ages, kids, teens and seniors. Throughout the years at our dance academy, Malaysia have evolved in the dance industry and seen a rapid growth in terms of numbers of well established students being made here. It has changed many of their lives. They yearn to reach out to everyone to participate and take this opportunity to embark with on this beautiful movement called dancing. In our academy, dance academy in Malaysia, all of the dance instructors are highly trained, qualified, experienced and certified teachers. A number of dance teachers are their very own former students. A great number of them too has achieved awards in various dance competitions locally and internationally and are dedicated to serve students who have the desire, passion and love for dancing and to achieve more. Some of the Dance Academy Malaysia instructors have mentored and choreographed a number of local artists in Malaysia, especially in Kuala Lumpur, Klang Valley and Selangor. Now let us see the case of Singapore. Dance in Singapore comprises traditional and contemporary forms. It has relatively short history of creative, artistic and professional dance. The range of dance reflects the cultural diversity of Singapore. There is a consistent struggle between the rejection and acceptance of Western dance influences and the re-emphasis of ethnic cultures from time to time. The Singapore identity through dance is a challenging one often on an outward looking perception rather than the acceptance and recognition of the indigenous original creativity. Creative contemporary dance identity in Singapore is very recent. In general, the first generation of theatrical dance professionals have contributed mainly as dance teachers, whereas the second generation produces more original choreography and performances in developing the scene. In 1990, Nanyang Academy of Fine Arts, NAFA, N -A -F -A, started Singapore's first full-time modern dance program. The program was headed by Angela Leong and offered all rounded dance theory and technique program including Martha Graham's technique and dance improvisation. Her program was delivered with strong contemporary arts references and education on top of the regular dance training plus many workshops through an exchange program whereby many American dance artists have worked with the students then. The existing pioneers of contemporary dance were students from this program. Over the years, dance at NAFA has grown from a fledgling start into an established and re reputable department with the help of better funding availability from the government. The Department of Dance has survived and thrived largely because of the capable direction as well as vision of several committed individuals. 
the initiative of these individuals who are respected in Singapore's dance community have eventually contributed to today's distinctive diploma in dance program that combines contemporary Asian and Western performances and creative practices. La Sali is another institution that offer dance diploma program as well as the newly set up SOTA. However, there is a lot more room for synergy between government, institutions and art companies to build a common vision for the local dance scene. Currently, new generation of trained dancers are moving more into commercial and school projects. Less are really to contribute in the artistic arena. ECNAD, the reverse spelling of dance, is a contemporary dance company founded in 1996 in Singapore with a multidisciplinary approach and with non-profit artistic dance legacy. It was formerly known as the Dance Dimension Project. ECNAD is one of the first non-governmental professional creative dance company that mushroomed amidst the then cultural desert of Singapore. This is in turn sparks of the formation of many new contemporary dance companies in Singapore, a phenomenon never seen before in the modern cultural history of Singapore. Its founders and artistic directors Tan Hao Chun and Lim Chin Hia. Lim was 2000 Young Artist Award recipient who are two ordinary individuals of indigenous approach to expression despite their western influence in fine arts, dance and sports training backgrounds. From 1997 to 2000, it initiated a series of outreach site specific works at fountains and architectural spaces in the urban environment of Singapore. Suntec City Fountain, Burgess Junction Fountain, Millennia Walk and UOB Plaza atriums are some of the performance venues. These are projects that aims at facilitating environment and dance aesthetics of the general public through performances that highlight and work with the existing aesthetics of the chosen space. In fact, this is at that time one of the first of its kind project by private individuals never seen before by the public. ECNAD has performed more than 50 creations over past 20 years as in year 2008. In 1990s to early 2000, ECNAD focused mainly on providing opportunities and assisting local dance artists to work together and create their dances. Free outreach performances for the general public, gaining valuable experiences through collaborations with overseas professionals, nurturing and assisting new talents to fulfill their dreams and exploring work, working with many production artists beside dancers. The ECNAD company received both full house and standing ovation for their tour performances of Floating Mirror and A The Bird in the 35th Belgrade International Theatre Festival and had an audience of nearly 20,000 for the Tales from the Giant Blanket performances in Festival of Asia in New Zealand in 2001. The company signaled a new dimension for the festival. Their success with New Zealand audiences meant that more contemporary material is likely to be introduced in future years. This is what was reported in a Festival of Asia 2001 report in New Zealand. In 2002, it was commissioned by the National Arts, Arts Council of Singapore to perform a multidisciplinary artistic work titled Missing in Tall Pillars at the Asian Civilization Museum. In 2006, 
ECNAD was commissioned to co-conceptualized and create metamorphosis to open the evening for Mercedes-Benz Asia Fashion Award. Its artistic ideal and vision continues to evolve and in March 2008, artistic co-director Tan Hao Chun staged a multidisciplinary production entitled In the Name of Dance that successfully assimilated dance, movement, acting and singing into one cohesive creation. He has also achieved a unique creative breakthrough by staging Songs of Gaia in 2009, showcasing singing dancers, assimilating a Coppelia singing, contemporary dance and his own music into a total and original theatrical experience. Artistic co-director Lim Chin Hao has also achieved outreach breakthrough for the local dance scene through a collaboration with the Arts House and laid a unique dance festival titled Campfire in 2009, which comprised free dance performances, dance photo and competition exhibition, a dance workshop and a dance marathon. Uh, Campfire 2009 is an event in conjunction with the Singapore River Festival. Both ECNARD artistic co-directors will be working together to create a new production titled Bun and Stone. Oh, they have already worked in March 2010 at the Arts House. Currently, the company has also designed and programmed its own dance training programs under ECNARD education, filling the gap for keen individuals to receive all rounded practical dance education on part-time basis. ECNARD students' recent creative works were showcased in the part-time daydreaming in 2008. In the past, students have been encouraged and supported through their other creative showcases such as bottle dances and out of sight. The tradition of giving generous support and mentorship to keen individuals to creative dance has been practiced since the beginning of the company. The word Eknard is now becoming popular worldwide in representing performing arts activities and companies. It has also been attached with the meaning of someone who lives for dancing. The word Eknard has indeed come a long way since it was invented in 96 by the Singaporean artist. Eknard is a creative sparkle uniquely from Singapore with a humble beginning and a strong aesthetic vision deserving of all supports and recognition. It was 1994 and no one in Singapore had much access to contemporary dance. There simply weren't any companies that were dedicated to it. That is when Angela Leong and S. Chandrasekharan stepped in to fill the void with arts vision. The group's inaugural performance Mahabharata, A Grain of Rice, was staged in the following year and in 2014. After 20 years, Leong honored the milestone with a 10-day festival called Make It New. One of the oldest contemporary dance companies in Singapore celebrated its 20th anniversary in 2014 with the 10-day dance festival, Make It New. Arts Fission's milestone event featured forum sessions and exhibitions and former company dancers returning to perform. Arts Fission was set up to create an individualistic dance language that could express my thoughts and reflect the changing times of Asia, explains Leon, which is perhaps why the group is determined showed that the festival was not a typical retrospective. There was not, for example, the restaging of old works. Make it new comprised five programs. Three of them are they were open to the public. The incidental performance, which included live performances and the local debut of the dance film, Dancing Dawn. The temple imagined the dance by 
design exhibition and the thinking dance where com participants discussed how to document contemporary dance with artists and art writers. The two other programs, the talking dance and a floating fist for every dancers form the outreach angle of the lineup. My biggest hope for the festival was to re raise the profile of contemporary dance in Singapore, raise the awareness and name of arts fiction and to appreciate that we have a 20 year old contemporary dance company in Singapore, said the festival producer Michelle Lim. There are always interested in cross disciplinary art forms doing research and dialogues with our artistic counterparts. The company has penchant for site specific works and also constant cross disciplinary engagement with a dialogue session co-presented with the arts house on how to approach the ephemeral arts. While they are interested in this from the perspective of dance, they also look into related art forms, any discipline that is temporal and that is ephemeral. We want to introduce a new breed of dance artists to the world stage who bring together contemporary Asian and Western perspectives, sensibilities and expressions, says Dr. Karen Carino and Vice Dean of Dance Programs. Master the art of expressing without words, famous for our contemporary East-West posture, our style of dance speaks a distinctive language of its own. NAFA's rigorous practical training in contemporary dance and ballet is the only conservatory style program in Asia, focusing on both contemporary Western and Asian dance performances. It is underpinned by semiotic practices, creative approaches and contextual studies, giving your repertoire both age and versatility. Students study in a unique intercultural environment mentored by an international faculty or respected artist in their own right. One can also expect frequent master classes, workshops and talks from guest artists from all over the world. A hallmark of dance repertoire is its connection with a range of artistic disciplines and Asian cultures. People find this unique quality showcased in their annual performance platforms the third space and crossings. And let us move briefly to Hong Kong. The modern dance choreographers in Hong Kong in the 1990s no longer stuck on American or Western theories of modern dance nor references in traditional Chinese dance. They established local and individual characteristics in their choreography in relation to contemporary society. Socio-political environment in Hong Kong in 1990s changed very rapidly. This makes any research a much more challenging one. Because of the political handover from British colony back to the government of People's Republic of China after the 100 years lease of the new territories, after the opium war and treaties associated, there were lots of discussions and emotions in the society. This political handover from British colony to Chinese special administrative region brought about lots of changes and instabilities in the local society throughout the 1990s. It is not only a local change, but also an international change. Internationally, a special concern was given to Hong Kong, both economically and culturally, to anticipate and observe the transition of this region to another totally different social system. Uh, in Hong Kong, the Hong Kong Dance Alliance, established in 1994, is a charitable tax exempt organization with the mission of serving as a primary voice and support group for dance in Hong Kong. 
and for Hong Kong dance worldwide. Their goals are to promote recognition, development and mutual understanding of all forms of dance, facilitate communication and exchange among individuals and organizations, provide a forum to discuss dance related matters, encourage dance research, education, criticism, creation and performance and liaise, coordinate and participate in activities with other dance organization worldwide. The Hong Kong Dance Alliance is the official Hong Kong organization of the World Dance Alliance and it is recipient of Hong Kong Arts Development Council three year grant. Where are the choreographers of the future? It is a vital question for the dance community in Hong Kong and as part of its mission to support and develop local artists. Hong Kong Dance Alliance proudly presents emerging choreographer presented emerging choreographers 2015. The latest in a series which gave up and coming choreographers platform to create and present the new works. The three selected choreographers came from different backgrounds and their work offer different dance styles and addressed a range of topics. Cliff Ewan's trio still human asked if our busy life with everything made easy by technology has made us any loose and lose our innate ability to use our senses and recall primitive memories. In his duet, the other end, Joseph Lee tried to show how every decision we make affects our lives. Lai Day's trio, Wonderful Slash Wild, inspired by a documentary about Shaolin Kung Fu, transformed traditional Kung Fu to reveal new aspects of the martial arts. So here you can see in each country as per the need, as per the social context, how the contemporary and modern dance is getting developed. Namaste.